training camp a number of times. It's, it's now where you know everything really starts to become a grind as you get into the second week of camp. Um, you don't want to look at it as like a, a grind, you know. It is it's grinding, you know, our bodies because it's so much work. But you know, Coach Hogerson, they're taking they're taking good care of us you know, um, with the practice schedule that we have. You know, giving us a chance to you know, get a break, get some rest, get treatment, and come out there so we're fresh, um, fresh for practice. It's tough sometimes to you know, focus on getting better with each rep at that, as just you know, kind of getting through practice. Uh, you know, sometimes with, you know, certain guys that want to have the, you know, get through a tough mentality, but that's where, you know, um, leaders like myself, you know, and other guys on the team, they, you know, motivate them and get them to uh, get better in practice. Guys brought in a lot of JUCOs, a lot of transfers this season, mm -hmm. more than, a lot more than usual. Yeah. For a guy like Don Phil, you kind of mentioned he's only had a week. Mm -hmm. How hard is it to get your feet underneath you and be able to put yourself in a position to contribute? Um, you just have to keep working, you know, don't get discouraged by mistakes that you'll make. And um, it's mistakes that we've all made when we first started playing. So um, we're playing with them like, you know, the defense. So it's easy for, you know, the older guys, you know, even like the younger guys are, that have played to help them, you know, correct them, things like that. So Coach Slaughter won't have to, you know, always be the one telling them. It'll be the experience from us. What is your early evaluation of playing? Um, I see him uh, playing a lot of snaps. He's a hard worker. You know, you see the explosion when he plays. Uh, it's just, you know, getting some technical things down and he'll be good. I guess Slaughter was saying that at previous stops, he was so athletic and so strong, he could play through bad technique. Mm -hmm. But I'm guessing in the Big 12, offensive linemen aren't going to let that stuff fly, right? Yeah, um, I mean, of course, you know, um, when you're playing against um, good offensive line, you know, technician, or, or a technical, I should say, uh, offensive line, you're going to need technique. You know, you can't just run down. But, I mean, it's good that he has the, you know, the burst off the ball. Mm -hmm. So that makes a lot of the changes very minor. They have to do, you know, just hand placement from here to here, you know, maybe just a little bit of tweaking in the um, footwork, but nothing to, no, no big changes we need to be made. During our media viewing sessions, it seems like you two have been talking a lot. Mm -hmm. and maybe he's asking a little more. I'm assuming getting some advice or just maybe you guys just want to stand next to each other. Can you kind of speak to that relationship? Um, I mean, I, we're, uh, I mean, so far, you know, we're real good friends. and. Uh, I just try to, you know, tell him, you know, he, he doesn't really ask, he doesn't really ask much, you know, um, we just tell him just go out there, you know, just, just play. If, you know, if he makes a mistake or something, we'll like tell him what he did wrong and he'll go and try to fix it the very next time. And, um, and if he, and if he, you know, doesn't get it right then and there, you know, that's what we have to film for, you know, so we'll come in and watch some film, stuff like that, you know, just try to um, get him to get a feel for it. Yeah. How are you?